there, everyone. Uh, thanks for coming back to the Awesome Life Podcast. I'm Karen Stultz, your hostess. I am a six-figure mindset mentor and the just creator, the creator, let's call it the creator of the heart-centered um, heart energy techniques to help you get through all of the, the fear and the, the gradu of creating that six-figure mindset business and having an awesome life. And here on Awesome Life Podcast, we have amazing, inspirational guests to help women be empowered, to see what is possible so that they too can enjoy an awesome life. And today, oh, I am, I, I, I cannot tell you how excited I am today to have, and you have to correct me if I do it wrong, <laughs> Tina Kadish, yes. who is a six-figure money business coach, and she, she's amazing. I, I just fell in love with her. As you know, we always talk before I have a guest on here to make sure that we are the right sync. And... It's all about energy in my world, and our energy just clicked. So I wanted to share a little bit more about Tina. Uh, Tina is going to help us learn how it is our time to thrive, a seven steps to thrive in life and business. And isn't don't we want to make it easy? You know, let's just. That's right. We do. <laughs> <laughs> we sure do. So Tina actually helps her clients uh, navigate change and overcome obstacles that are really challenging today, especially for the corporate women who want to go into entrepreneurship. They just don't know how, you know, they've been working, working for the man, as they say, for all these years. And Tina helps that. It's your time to go from surviving to thriving in life and business by learning the seven steps to thrive in life and business. And you can create a prosperity, prosperity, joy, fulfillment, and freedom. And I have to laugh because with the acceptance of uh, fulfillment, that was my tagline for more energy more prosperity, more joy, and more freedom was always mine. So we just added the fulfillment, which is what it's all about. You have to feel good about what you're doing. So welcome, Tina. Thank you so much for joining me today. It is great to be with you. Thank you. It's such an honor to be here, Karen. Thank you so much for the opportunity. I always love being with amazing women and having an awesome time with uh, my podcast host and uh, and sharing sharing um, nuggets, sharing my wisdom, sharing my experiences, and that there might be a listener or two here that <coughs> this messaging will resonate with someone. Absolutely. That they needed to hear this. My voice is going. I have water. Yeah, good, good, good. Always good to have some water <laughs> next to you. I'll, I'll join you here. With yes, you. I have a tickle in my throat, of course, <laughs> when I start talking. <laughs> Well, I That's love your case. energy, but how, <laughs> how did you get into this, this business of being able to create that freedom? So it's been a long journey. Um, like many of us in our life, we begin somewhere, but we don't know where we're going to end up. So my background has been in training and development and in corporate recruiting. Mm -hmm. And I was laid off. I was a, a trainer, but my background really started as an admin assistant many years ago, went to college later in life with two small kids and got into training and development by accident, loved it, and stayed with the uh, major Fortune 500 company in New York City uh, for about nine years and got laid off, suddenly found myself for the first time laid off from the corporate world. I had always quit jobs. I've never had jobs quit on me. So it was a, an awakening for me, like, whoa. And I was a single mom with two kids on November 19, right before the holidays that they let you go. Ah. And I had just been promoted to area trainer in July of that year. And then in November, they downsized the whole training department and found myself without a job. So I was like, whoa, what do I do? Because I am the type of person that always feels to be in control. 
That's and scary when you're out of control like that. When you're out it? of control, exactly. Yeah. So I really was scared. I had fear. I was angry. And but then at the same time, my mindset said, you know, something's going, a door is shutting right now, but another door is going to open. And I didn't know what that was going to be. And so in my journey through networking and doing some other things, um, you know, network marketing, I, I got into and I really learned through my journey that over 85% of working individuals are unhappy with their careers. They're, they're stuck, they're frustrated, they're disengaged with where they are. And I loved training, don't get me wrong, but at the time there were many jobs as a trainer to travel and I couldn't be on the road because I had two small kids and I needed a job to be in one location. And so in my journey in networking and meeting great people, I learned about the 80, you know, over 85% of people, but I also learned of a tool to find your passion called the passion test. Oh yeah. I love the passion test. Yes. Yeah. And I met a woman, got certified it myself to deliver this tool. And I started life is ideal with this one tool. And I was very excited because what resonated with me is that too many women. Sorry about uh, that. Oh, that's okay. Too many women are unhappy with where they are in their life, but they're, they're not sure what to do. They're stuck. They're, they're just really trapped. They feel trapped, but their mindset also keeps them trapped. And they may lack, you know, have self-doubt. They lack the confidence. They're really afraid to make a move. And they stay complacent. They stay in their comfort zone. And yeah. so I wanted yeah. to help women really get out of that comfort zone and really help them to believe that there is more. So freedom is an important value of mine. It is still today an important value of mine. And, you know, I started my business years ago and freedom, This you know, my book, which I'll share more about, came from working in the years as a coach. How can I help you find your freedom? And so I launched my book, Freedom, Seven Steps to Thrive in Life and Business from the value that I have of freedom that I can help you get free. You know, And, and it looks like in your book, which I, I highly suggest everybody get a copy of this book. It is, it is amazing. And Tina is amazing. And she's Thank you. She's so clear and, and concise on how she accomplishes everything here. But the freedom, I see, it appears that it is an acronym. It is. It is an acronym that I, because I wanted it to be a message with impact. And in the book, I have action steps because I want it to be where people apply something, not just read it and put it on a shelf and it gathers dust. I want it. I want application. So the acronym freedom, um, F is faith, you know, believing in a higher power, whatever that higher power is. And it's really believing, having that faith in yourself, faith in something else, that things are going to get better. When I got laid off, I had the faith that I was going to find something. I was a 9-11 and I have it in the book during 9-11. I was working in the city at the time of 9-11, and I was supposed to be in one of the Twin Towers that day. Oh, my word. Yes. And somehow I canceled an appointment that I had, and I wasn't there, obviously. But when that happened, I was like, there's, okay, there's, when I got laid off in, in uh, two years later, I was like, there's something more with my life. Because I survived 9-11. I wasn't supposed to be in the buildings. And now I got laid off. So there's got to be something more to do. And, and the, the mindset that indeed another door opens. Yes, another door and opens. It, it, exactly. If it's not going right at the moment, it's because either one of two things in my world. One is um, we weren't supposed to do it in the first place. Or two, there is something more important. And I had to learn that myself in, again, following that, that knowledge that we are all here for a, a purpose. And that purpose is to be happy. So if we're not happy 
or we're not joyful from the inside out. That's where the mindset comes in is so you can experience that joy from the inside out. Exactly. You have to recognize if you're not happy doing what you're doing, it's time for a change or your body or your environment or your emotional well-being is is going to suffer along the way it is because i believe health your health is your number one priority and you're right because if you don't have joy from the inside out fulfillment and when you're going to a job every day uh frustrated i mean i remember you know i did get laid off but then i want to share with everybody i did go back to a job Mm -hmm. um as a recruiter and I was there 11 years and I finally left in 2018. So I was working my business part-time and working full-time. And fear is what got me back into the job because my business, number one, wasn't, wasn't you know, I'll be honest, it wasn't making money at the time. And I needed, I needed a consistent income. Uh, absolutely. Income. Yes, and so yes. I always tell my clients, I'm not advising you to just quit your job and start a business tomorrow. No, that's not how it worked for me. It took me six years that I was working my business. And and it depends on, on, on every individual. It doesn't have to be six years. It was six years for me. But so getting back to the freedom, the R is release, is letting go. Oh, I love it. Love it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Letting go of the outcome, letting go of whatever we're holding on to, because we attach ourselves Okay, and we need to detach and let it go of the outcome. Then the E, the first E is evaluation. Okay, evaluation meaning stepping back and viewing the bigger picture. Like, you know, evaluate your progress. You know, every day, celebrate your wins because you're making progress. Or I invite you to make progress in your life. You don't want to stay in one place forever. That would be boring. That would not be fulfilling, okay? There is no growth if you're not learning, um, changing. Change is inevitable. It's going to happen regardless of whether yeah. we want it or not, okay? Um, the, the Change is the only constant in life. Ch- change is the only constant in life. It really is. I mean, you look at what's going on with the pandemic and everybody had to make changes and pivot and businesses, new way of doing things. If we stayed in the one way of doing things, there's businesses and there are businesses that have gone out of business because also they've stayed in one way. And, you know, but, you know, that's really where are you, are you looking at where are you making progress? Where, you know, are you uh, growing? Well, I think, I think having a coach too, like you, helping Ooh. them recognize what the, other possibilities are let's let's brainstorm let's think outside the box because the ones that are thriving are thinking outside the box uh i i saw a restaurant in my local area who that was uh everyone else was closing because of covid and now they are open three days a week still having a full group but only as a takeout and they are also delivering and right. that is no one is coming in but they're making the same impact on the community and they're making the same income it was a it was a change and it was scary but that's what you do and once you and and for me it was wonderful too because my my clients couldn't see me in person, right? Because of right. COVID. And and they were able to find out that, hey, this this energy stuff works over the internet. How cool is that? And you never even have to go and drive in the snow because I live in Maine. So <laughs> a beautiful place, but you get a lot of snow, right? So, you know, it, it's it's like you say, it it's it's really re-educating yourself to a different way of, of doing things, thinking out of the box. It, how important the box. is this? How important is this business to you? Because there are always different ways of doing it. Exactly. Exactly. So then the other E is energy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Energy, you know, attention follows intention. 
you know, where are you putting your attention every day? Are you, your energy, you know, we say everything is energy. We say money is energy. Money's going to go out. Money's going to come right back in. There's plenty of money around us. It's us. It's up to us to go out and get it. We can earn it, get it. It's available to all of us. And so where are you, where are you putting your energy every day? You know, what are you focusing on? Are you focusing on the negative or are you focusing on the positive? Are you focusing on solutions or are you focusing only on the problem and staying there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And determination is the D where determined, are you determined that you're going to go through any obstacle? You know, passion will drive you. You know, when you know your why, like one of the things that I coach my clients is I help them to figure out their why, you know, what do they desire? And when they know what their why is, they'll, con they'll be determined to get through the, any obstacle that they have. You know, when I was in my corporate career and I wanted out, but I just couldn't yet. And I was getting frustrated. However, every day I was determined to do something more, working on my business, creating income so that I could leave. And I set that goal and I achieved it. And so I was determined because the pain sometimes you're in will drive you to make that decision. Okay. And I, you know, when you're getting those Sunday night blues, okay, that pit in your stomach, you know, and you, and you, and you are working for the Fridays and you can't wait for Fridays and you're just living for the weekend. It's not good. Living for the paycheck. And living it's for the paycheck is not good. It's not yeah. good. Okay. It really is not good. So people have come to me and say, you know, my job is sucking the life out of me. I can't stand it. I want out. I realize that life is so short and I want to follow my dreams. I want to make my dreams a reality. So are you determined? They always optimism. So as you're going through these obstacles up and down, weathering the ups and downs, are you optimistic? Are you, are you confident that you're going to go through the ups and downs and, and staying optimistic even when you are, you know, challenged because life is a challenge. Being an entrepreneur, I'm an entrepreneur, you're an entrepreneur. Every day, there's things that we are in control, but then there's things that are not. We are the CEO of our life. Yeah, exactly. You know? And every day we create our schedules. We create the people that we hang out with. We're not told what to do by someone else in a, a job. But here's the thing too, for your listeners, entrepreneurship is not for everybody. Oh no. Working in a career at a company is good. We need, we need people to work for companies, right? But as long as you're following your passion, are you at the right place? Are you, are your values aligned with the company's culture? Yeah. You know, do you match with each other or is there a misalignment? Because if you're not aligned, it ain't going to work. Okay. Exactly. It really ain't going to work. And then I wrap it up with M for mindset. You know, we start with faith and I end it with mindset. Really, you know, I talk about two types of mindset. I talk about growth and fixed. Are you looking to the solution? We talked about that a few minutes ago. Or are you looking at the problem? And staying in the challenge that nothing's going to get better. I'm yeah. always going to be here. I'm too old. I can't make change right now. The limiting always, beliefs. I have a lot of limiting beliefs. Yeah, I have limiting beliefs. There's people that have limiting beliefs. And they've their beliefs have come from their childhood and how they're raised and their environment that they've had. And they carry them into adulthood. And But how can you shift your mindset to think differently to really believe in yourself, but it takes time. It's, you know, it's trusting the process also. Yeah. You know, it's not going to happen overnight where you can achieve the freedom that you crave. Absolutely. Yeah. It, it, it is. It's a, a decision to, I love that right in the center. That is the center of everything, right? It's a decision. The decision. It begins with the decision. The, the yes. intention, the decision that this is going to happen. You did that and I did that. And that is, and exactly being clear. I mean, I had a client the other day who said, well, yeah, let's just talk about money mindset. Let's just 
yeah, I want a million dollars. Okay, great. Except you don't have a clue of what a million dollars is, right? <laughs> You've never experienced it. You don't, right. everybody just said, yeah, a million dollars, but it has no trigger. It has nothing. What about 120,000? <gasps> I could never make that. <laughs> yeah, people don't like, believe. okay, that's where we work. That's where we work. Okay. Yeah, no, that's true. If people come out with these, yeah, I want to be a millionaire, but what does that mean for you? Like, what does the money mean for you making that million? How will your life change? Ex yeah, yeah. You know, and so how will that, how would that feel like for you? And it all, all comes back to your freedom. Yes, it does. It does. I mean, you know, you could, um, you could have all the money in the world and still be unhappy. And still be trapped, still have no freedom. Yeah. You yeah. really could. And there's people that they make a lot of money, but are they happy? Are they fulfilled? Are they really happy? Yes. With that yes. money. Yeah, absolutely. And that's where it all comes from. So I I, I absolutely love that. So um, you have, those are actually the seven steps that you yes. were talking about. Is that yes. correct? That yes, is. it is. That is. is. It, and what would be the first thing that somebody should do is, do you follow those steps in order to clear, get, create the faith, make sure that you have the faith? And then, you know, that would continue? be, that would be the right. But here's the thing. If somebody comes to me and I see that their mindset is totally, you know, the work uh -huh. that needs to be done, then we'll focus just on their mindset. Because what I have found is the mindset because fear, fear plays a part. Okay. And yeah. so we get into what is the fear that you have? Like what identify your fear and why do you have this fear? You know, we talk about that because really, and how do you feel when you have that fear? Like for me, I had the fear of being an entrepreneur, leaving my corporate job. My husband, and I were empty nesters and he's self-employed and I was the one bringing in the consistent paycheck. And I was afraid because we didn't have any health insurance. Otherwise, I felt we were going to be entrepreneurs. And I stayed stuck in a job for more years than I should have because of health insurance. That was really the reason also. Yeah. And because I was so stuck on, because a lot of times we just stuck on a way of thinking. We just can't get out of our way. And I wasn't even looking at well, what would health insurance cost if I was on my own? Yeah. Well, you know, well, it's very pricey, very, very it is pricey. pricey. It country. could be pricey, but here's the thing. You're going to love this. I did get health insurance. My husband is on Medicare, so he's on a separate plan. And the health insurance that I'm paying right now, it's a decent plan. I'm paying the same amount of money for what I was getting that I was paying in my corporate job. Or probably the same or, or better, actually. Yeah, it yeah. Right down to it. Yeah. You know, yeah. And so I resolved it, but I resolved it after I took a leap of faith and, and left my career. All right. I didn't do it while I was in my job. Okay. So, so what my message here is that too many of us stay in this way of thinking that we don't move forward because we stay stuck in a way, in a one way of thinking. Exactly, exactly. And instead of looking at what is this trying to tell me, what is it creating a, a new way of looking at things, creating that new mindset uh, of, hey, I got laid off. My, what am I going to do? Mm -hmm. Turned into, well, what are the other possibilities? That's always my mantra. What are the other possibilities? Right. What are the possibilities? And asking yourself, what if this could work? Exactly. Always, I call those the uh, what if up questions instead of the what if down. What if I lose everything? What if I, I'm sleeping under the bridge? Well, what if this is the best thing that ever happened? What if you actually start making the money that you made even more than? And that's the, you make a good point because this is where the faith comes in. That you have faith in yourself. You have faith that it's going to get better, that everything is going to work out. 
and and believing in it and you know every day talking to yourself like one of the things that I do is I journal I'll meditate I say affirmations but it's getting in that in that mindset of and also I mean surrounding yourself with the right people yeah I always say that is true yeah. um you mentioned earlier getting a coach you know I wouldn't be where I am today had I not worked with the coach or two everybody and, and, needs a coach. yeah everybody needs a coach and I am now as a coach, working with a coach. Coaches need coaches as well. Absolutely. Because we need to grow as well. Had I not worked with someone, my book would not have been published this year. I needed someone else to make it happen. Yep. Yep. And that's the and that's the reality. And too many of us stay in that scarcity mindset, in the money mindset, that oh, that I, I don't have the money for that. But what if you could yeah. find the money? Because let me tell you something, it's all about priorities. You'll find the money when it's important or you'll make excuses. You got that right. You got that right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And and you have to invest. If you are going to ask for the money in your business, you have to invest in a coach. That's right. To help you. Yeah. Because if you don't invest in yourself, how can you expect your clients to invest in you? Exactly. It's, exactly. it's that, exactly. you know, you know, that circle. We, we work in a circle, don't we? Yeah, we do. We sure do. And it, sure it's do. kind of, everything is connected. I, my, my first leadership uh, mentor and coach uh, wrote a book called One, which basically t- shows us in no uncertain terms how simply we are all connected the, and, and I can't go into the whole nine yards, but um, there was a tsunami in, in Thailand many years ago. Yes, there was. Yes, I remember. And it wiped out so many people. But what happened also was the shrimp went away. That's right. So the people in New York couldn't get shrimp for their cocktails. Oh, Oh, never thought about that. Yeah, their right. livelihoods were gone and everything else, but I never saw how it could affect my enjoyment. Mm, that's you know? right. And that's it right. was it was a whole long thing going from one end to the end, other in a very quick way. That's everything so is connected. Everything and is connected. there are no coincidences. I the fact that we connected and and I have to tell our listeners it was funny when we had our our talk Tina said, "Well, Remind me, how are we connected, Karen? I said, I have no idea, but obviously we were supposed to connect. Because right, because I still don't know how we connected. Um, I have no idea, <laughs> but obviously we were, spo- I mean, so many similarities. I work pretty much on the mindset totally yes. to create that. Because as you say, mindset is it's everything. key, absolute key. It is key. It is key. And creating an awesome life means changing your mindset That's so that right. you can move forward with That's the right. support and the caring of a great business coach, That's which right. Tina is. So, yes. yes. So that's what, you know, when you're ready to, you, you want to step into your purpose, you, you have that clarity, you know, you want to be an entrepreneur. I can help you to set up a successful business um, with my process as well, because like I said, a lot of women come to me saying they want to start a business, but they don't know how to do it. What's, you know, what, what are the ingredients? It's like baking a cake. What are the ingredients to bake a cake? You have a recipe, you have ingredients. A business is the same. You need specific ingredients are needed in order to have a successful business. Exactly. Exactly. Creating that, that firm foundation that you can build from and having that, that, um, information that yes. determination and the clarity that you bring out in people the clarity yes. of what people need right for them right? people need it they they just don't um they just don't have the clarity and the, that focus that direction that mm-hmm. they need and they're just going into a loop a constant loop and yeah. frustrated and and you know losing sleep over because they just are and they're searching online for answers yeah and getting frustrated more and more every day. Yeah. Well, we don't need that, do we? Because no, we don't. We don't want you to be frustrated. Want- Tina, Tina is here in your corner to help you create, leave that corporate job and, and 
be the entrepreneur, have the life and the lifestyle that you so desire. Yes. And, yes. and do it with the knowledge and the support that Tina can offer. Uh, and, and her book, Freedom, I love it. Freedom, That's the right seven, um, I don't have it right in front of me here. Tell me, ah, there yeah. it is. The yeah, Freedom steps. steps, it's on Amazon. Freedom, seven steps to thrive in life and business that people can get, grab a copy. Um, and I know that the link will be um, available to people as well. Absolutely. And uh, so tell, tell me, how can our listeners get a hold of you? Okay, so my website is lifeisideal.com. Life and is- yep, lifeisideal.com. And you could, uh, I have a free offer on my website, a five-step strategy, exit strategy from corporate. I also offer a free 30-minute uh, clarity call. We get on the phone and we chat about what, what are you going through right now? What are some challenges? What is it that you're struggling with right now in your life? Or if you're an entrepreneur in your business and how can we connect? And if I'm not the right person, you know, I could direct you to someone else because this is the other thing. Finding the right coach is key. Yeah. Not every coach is going to be for you. I've Absolutely. gone through multiple coaches and have fired people or not worked out because it's not the right coach, what you need, because you want to really work with someone on what is it that you need specifically? And that's what are you why that, for? that 30 minute conversation with you can create the total clarity. And, and I, I really honor the fact that you, because that that's very key in my, my heart too, that you say, you know, I know I can help you. There's no question in my mind. And I know we can work together or, you know what, I am not the coach for you. However, I will help you find somebody. I will refer exactly. somebody. And that's, that, that's called uh, collaboration and cooperation as opposed to competition. Exactly. It is. And, you know, and it's because you're not coming from a, a desperate state saying, okay, well, I'm going to make this work because I got a client and you're coming from that desperate state of mind. Again, back, back to mindset. Instead, because money is all around us, it's okay if this person is, you know, is not the right, I'm not the right person for them. You know, um, it's okay. It's, it's totally okay. okay. It's okay. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. yeah, I love it. I love it. Thank you. So uh, check out all of the, the freebies. Sign up. Do sign up for a free consultation, a complimentary consultation. I don't want to call it free because I know you offer so much in your consultation. Right. Yeah. My 30 minute is free call. It is a free call with everybody. And then I do have my programs that I offer that there is an investment, but uh, the 30 minutes is, is my gift to you to have a conversation. Fantastic. And all of those links are below us in the show notes. And be sure to come over to YouTube and check out how beautiful this wonderful lady is. Thank you, Karen, for having me today. Thank you so much for joining me today. And is there any last word that you would like to share before we leave? What I'd like to say to all of you is, you know, Start to believe in yourself that you are worth it, worthy to receive success, to achieve success, um, because you all have gifts and talents and, and, and ability to, to give. You ha- all of you have something to share to the world, but it's tapping into that. And, and don't wait till tomorrow, because tomorrow may not come. Do it now. Take action. One little thing, it could be one little thing that you're going to take action on, okay? Because don't overwhelm yourself. This doesn't happen overnight. Trusting the process, trust yourself, okay? And believing yourself and make your dreams a reality. I love that. I love that. Thank you. Absolutely. Well, thank you again so much for joining me today. Be sure to like this episode, go over to YouTube and uh, like and subscribe to my YouTube channel where you can uh, see and really experience all of these wonderful guests, including Tina, who is, I, I'm sitting here, I'm just smiling from <laughs> ear to ear because she is so energetic. You could hear it in her voice. Yeah. Thank you, Karen. It's in her so smile. Much. I love it. I love it. And I thank really look forward to the next time.
Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.